y'all. <laughs> oh, today, <laughs> y'all know how it goes. Today I'm having Jack in the Box. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna keep with the with the fast food theme for a minute. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, there's my straw. Hey, I had it and I lost it. Oh, there it is. I have a vanilla sweet cream coffee. Y'all know I like my coffee. I just woke up not quite an hour ago. Oh, mercy, mercy, mercy. It would probably help if I didn't stay up till almost five in the morning. <laughs> There's one bag. And there's two bags. And here's a trash bag. Yay. <laughs> okay, so Christmas has passed. Christmas holidays, all that. Anyway, it's uh, a few days before New Year's Eve. Oh, my egg roll hanging out. Give me some napkins. Yep. You gave me a nice bit of napkins. Uh, and I'm planning on cooking something for New Year's. I've actually been getting in my kitchen and cooking a little bit lately, which is good. Um... Now, the last thing I cooked, it didn't look so great, <laughs> but it was actually really easy to do and really, really tasty. It was a uh, chicken and stuffing that's made in the crock pot. <laughs> really easy. I kind of screwed up a little bit though. I mean, it was good, but I still screwed up a little bit because I, um, I over seasoned my chicken. Yeah, I over seasoned my chicken. Um, I should have just did some, what do you call it, um, a little bit of like garlic powder and onion powder. Mm. But I went ahead and sprinkled Tony's on it. And I could hardly, I'm sitting so I can hardly like see into the crock pot while I'm seasoning. So I probably way overdid it. Curly fries. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm. eh, whatever. Mmm. Mm. Couple more. Mm. So then, when you put the stuffing on top. It was sitting right on that extra salt, so my stuffing was a little bit overly salty. Overly salty. Jack in the Box's nuggets are some of my very, oh, wait a minute. I got no sauces. No barbecue, Um, no honey mustard. No sweet and sour. Well, <laughs> I've got a cure for that. I had sauces left over from my Christmas Day Chinese food. Mm. So I got sweet and sour at least. Hmm. Uh, Nuggets. Mmm. Oh, I love the nuggies. Mmm. And I got a bacon double buttery jack. Mmm. Mmm. And I should have done that first. I should have opened that first. <laughs> and put my... Mmm. Mmm. 
Yeah, that works. Mm. Bacon double buttery jack. Chicken nuggets. Curly fries. Two tacos. Man, I was going to get more tacos too. But I didn't want to get any more than I could eat in a day. <laughs> Mm. which I'll probably, I'll eat all of this before I go to bed. I'm positive I will. Mm. If I'm doing good, I could probably eat all of this for the video. <laughs> that would be really good. Y'all haven't seen me finish a meal in a little while, I don't guess. Mmm. Mmm. And that's a churro. Mm. <laughs> there we go. Mm. 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 This is actually a pretty burger. Mm. There's lots of lettuce. And you can see the bacon and the cheese hanging out. Ooh. Okay, y'all. This is my favorite burger from Jack in the Box. And I got a little bit extra. Oh, God, I forgot the name of the sauce, but it's the, the buttery sauce or whatever. <laughs> I forgot. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's good. Ooh. I love their seasoned curly fries. Mmm. They are just so good. I kind of think they're a little bit better than Arby's curly fries. <clears throat> so how was y'all's Christmas? Holiday, Hanukkah. Kwanzaa, everything. Did y'all celebrate anything or did you just chill and enjoy the cool night? <laughs> Me and Susan have been watching lots of Christmas movies and we're going to continue Christmassy theme movies possibly till through New Year. Till or through New Year. Last night, we were going to watch Die Hard, and nobody was streaming it where you didn't have to pay for it. And I was like, damn, damn. Somebody had to have been playing Die Hard before that. And we're like, December 26th, and we're Die Hard for you. <laughs> I was all excited, too. I was like really excited. I was like, it's not really the Christmas or holiday season until I see Hans Gruber fall from the top of Nakatomi Plaza. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Good burger. Mm. Everything's nice and warm too. I'm very fortunate. Jack in the box isn't far from me. 
I mean, they have Jack in the Box all over, but I have a close one, so. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. 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 Have y'all seen on TikTok that new AI manga thing? That's been tripping me out. <laughs> tripping me out. I mean, I know that it's just like recognizing patterns and just filling in stuff. But some of the ones I've been watching are like really interesting. And it's like um, some people will ask like a any kind of entity or relative or whatever to like show themselves. And sometimes it does. <laughs> Another one that trips me out. Mm -hmm. mm. Just people will like do their pets like have like three or four pets so like oh that one's a cat that one's a cat that one's a cat girl <laughs> oops I was like what are you hiding kitty secretly a neko cat or a neko cat neko cat neko cat girl <laughs> mm. <laughs> You know, I just had Chinese food. Jack in the Boxes egg rolls. Just as good. Just as good. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. All right, taco time. Look at those tacos. They're just so greasy. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Soft and crunchy at the same time. How? <laughs> for the big soft bite. Mmm. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> no, I can tell already I'm not gonna be able to finish. I can tell already. wonder why I get full so fast <clears throat> honestly I don't really know other than the pressure on my stomach from all the fat kind of takes away from my capacity <clears throat> mm. Mm. and I've obviously gained weight <laughs> extra belly pressure on my stomach. <laughs> mm. Oh, goodness. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, how is it? I literally got out of bed at like 10 minutes after 5 p.m. Not a.m. Mm. Let me rate my dasher. She was really nice. I had a package sitting out there and she picked it up for me and put it on my table. Oh, shoot. I think Amazon just delivered something. Mmm. 
Everything's good and I got everything, so I'm gonna rate that too. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I ordered up a couple of um, oven mitts because I realized I had those hand oven mitts and it don't fit on my hand because my arm's so big right there. It doesn't fit me right. Okay, no, I didn't get sticky stuff on me. Um, so I ordered a couple of oven mitts. And I'm thinking of moving my dining room table into the corner. And I'm getting like a, um, what do they call it? A power strip with surge protector. Get one of those to go on the table that's plugged in. And I'm getting lots of little, I have, I have a little blender that I haven't gotten to use because of how my kitchen's set up. I've got a little dash waffle maker I want to use. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm planning on getting like a little air fryer slash toaster oven type thing to put in the corner. So I've got a little oven space there that I don't have to go in the kitchen. I don't, it's, it's not the kitchen's fault for a smaller person without like claustrophobia, <laughs> which I don't know if I actually have claustrophobia. All I know is I get really uncomfortable in there. I really do. I get so uncomfortable in the kitchen because I'm like, think it's like right here, and then I turn it, and it's like right there, and I'm like, <laughs> I know, I don't like it. I don't feel comfortable in there. But, but I've been trying to cook. I was telling y'all about the the chicken and stuff, and I made, and I'll post a picture. Uh, here, maybe I'll remember. <laughs> Maybe I'll remember. I tried to post a picture of the last thing I cooked before this. <laughs> mm. Oh. Mm. It wasn't pretty. Mm. Because over the top of the stuffing mix, you put like a can of cream of chicken soup half a cup of sour cream and a half a cup of chicken broth and you mix that all together and you pour it over actually that's not how it worked then why did I oh because the the salt got into the gravy okay I'll put the gravy down and then the and then the um stuffing mix over the top like I saw in some of the pictures I was looking at of the dish but if I make it again, which more than likely I will, because it was good, uh, you know, and I only screwed up, you know, because it was a little salty. But the recipe itself is really good. But next time I do it, I'm going to put the chicken down, season the chicken. Not like over season it like I did, but just maybe some onion powder, garlic powder, maybe a little pepper, paprika or something. And, um... Then I'm going to lightly mix the stuffing mix with the wet stuff and then pour that on top. Because just before it was done, um, you were, I wanted to take the lid off so that the stuffing mix could get crispy. It's like it was still kind of crispy. So I had to like mix it all together with the, with the sauce anyway for it to actually get done. So next time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pre-mix it so it cooks all together, even if it's slop. It's still going to taste fun. Huh. Mm. And next time I might put like corn or something in there. Like corn, like a layer of corn or something. Or green beans or peas or whatever. Mm. That is an easy crock pot dish. So I'm using my crock pot. Yay. And I want to continue with the cooking mm. so because I don't use my dining room table to eat on I've just been using it to like store fruit and whatnot I want to make it like a cooking station uh, and I'm planning on looking into juicing and all that stuff so I need a nice work area for that sort of thing. 
<clears throat> I've been eating a lot of fruit. A lot of, as a matter of fact, I got some fruit right here. <laughs> this is from last night. Last night I had... <clears throat> mm. Oh, and I have to eat an avocado later. I have to eat it or it's, you know, it's done. <laughs> but I got five mangoes for a dollar. I've eaten about two of the mangoes because I let them sit out so that they ripen over time. Um, and I had a pound of uh, those golden kiwis. Those are my favorite. I have two left. Love those. You know, you don't even have to peel them. You can just cut them and just, you know, the skin is actually really okay. And the, um, the mango that I ate last night, I ate the skin. So lots of vitamins in the skin. So I'm trying for the most part right now <laughs> off camera. This, the only time I've ordered food out, I ordered for Christmas and I, I ordered just enough food for that day and a little bit for like breakfast. Mm. I did pretty good. So last night I was able to eat some fruit and not not have overeaten. I'm on I'm not on a diet. Not on a diet, just trying to make changes. I have to save money. And ordering out like every freaking other day, not good. I already have to order food twice a week for mukbangs. And then that food carries over most of the time. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it, candy. Ugh. I have to learn to order less food. Mm. Mm. But you know what? I like to try different things. Mm. I like variety. What can I say? <laughs> what can I say? Mm. 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 To me, the only thing that burger's missing is pickles. Because I like pickles. Mm. <clears throat> I was going to tell you guys what I'm cooking for New Year's. <clears throat> well, me and Susan already have planned. We're each going to get a deep dish pizza for New Year's Eve. Okay. <laughs> Just one deep, deep dish pizza. And she's going to buy stuff like to last a few days. Maybe even freeze a few things. But me, I'm just going to order the pizza and a salad. Because I figure one piece of pizza and a little bit of salad, you know, dressing on the side <laughs> would do good for me, you know, and it, it wouldn't be too much. And then I could like put part of the pizza in the freezer. <sighs> Ooh. And for days that uh, I don't have anything to cook and I'm definitely not ordering food, I'm gonna, um, just eat frozen dinners. You know, I've got like my favorite, uh, those cheap, cheap, cheap uh, banquet beef pot pies. That's my favorite. They have the chicken pot pies and the turkey pot pies, but the beef pot pie is my favorite. <laughs> mm. oh, dollar thirty nine. <clears throat> and it's not like. For me, it wouldn't be like a full meal. For me, it's kind of a snack, but if I have that and some fruit, and if maybe I had oatmeal for breakfast or something, which, did I tell you about that? Then I got that oatmeal, the, the Kroger gods just decided that I should have three giant boxes of oatmeal. 
which I've got Quaker Oats in my cabinet. I was already planning on like trying to set up and do some overnight oats type things because that's really freaking filling and actually fairly healthy depending on what you put in it. Mm. Mm. I know it's ridiculous. Me talking about anything healthy while I've got Jack in the crack <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> uh. <sighs> but I know y'all can tell I'm getting tired of this kind of food. And the only reason I even ordered this and didn't just have some fruit and a pot pie, which, which is kind of what I had on my mind for today. Especially because I have fruit ripening. Fruit ripening and, you know, I just, I didn't want a whole bunch of leftovers to eat all evening. But I do it for the views. Because <laughs> y'all have to debate. And people that defend me and people that, that care and just want to hang out and spend time and, and I'm, you know, I'm no kind of, uh, what do you call it, um, example for anyone. Not at all. I mean, the food that I eat is not good for you. <laughs> I mean, it's fast food garbage for the most part. Even though it tastes good, it's super addictive. Mmm. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> Mm. But off camera, I really want to do better for my body, for myself, mm. for whatever kind of future I'm going to have. Mm. You know, I'm not scared, you know, of <laughs> the end. <laughs> I'm not. I've had a good one, you know? And while I don't want to go anywhere, I don't want to because I have, I still have things I want to do. Things I want to experience or whatever. Mm. Mm. It wouldn't be a tragedy for me. I mean, yeah, people would miss me. Hmm. Uh, but I'd be back wherever we go. Wherever I was before I came here. Mm. Preparing for my next run because Lord knows I probably didn't, you know, finish the game in this life. <laughs> mm. I don't know for the most part I feel like I've lived with a certain amount of grace um, you know with with kindness as much as possible um, but I haven't been kind to myself I haven't been kind to me mm. and that's probably definitely some kind of karmic carryover I don't know what kind of horrible butthole I was in my previous life, but <laughs> it had to be bad. I mean, not that this life was that bad. I mean, I've had trauma, but I've had, you know, I've had experiences that, you know, other people might not survive, but I survived and I'm happy I did. You know, I learned some very valuable lessons. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Anyway. Mm. Basically, I just want to try to eat better off camera because I want to feel better. I don't like the way this stuff makes me feel. Mm. And actually, I think I'm done. 
I'm done. I still have half a half a box of curly fries left. Taco. I half my burger. If y'all haven't tried these little churros, they have this little cinnamony filling in them. Mmm. They're so nice. Mmm. Still never said what I'm cooking for New Year's, right? The typical New Year's Eve dinner in my crock pot. I'm gonna put cabbage and a corned beef flat in there and cook that up. And on the stove, I'm gonna do some black eyed peas. Because I want a prosperous 2023. I'm going to prosper in 2023 and I'm gonna try to <laughs> I don't want to say I'm on a diet I'm not going on a diet but I do want to drop some tonnage and get a little bit more mobile because for frick's sake I really want to I really want to go to the dentist that's one place I want to go and I really want to go back to the doctor that I used to go to. Not the one that made house calls, but it's a place in, in Las Vegas. They they give you rides even. You don't have to like Uber. But I mean they're way the hell on the other side of the world. But they they come and pick you up and they bring you home. Um they do psych, like you know, psychiatry, <laughs> therapy um primary care and pain management all of which i, I kind of need <laughs> i need it all so it'll be a long trip <laughs> anytime i go but i really want to go back they were decent people and it was it was even though i, I was stuck there sometimes you got to sit there for hours to do all of the things you got to do and it's always packed i mean I don't know what it's going to be like post COVID, but it's going to be interesting, I'm sure. <coughs> mm. Oh, my lungs. <coughs> mm. <coughs> yeah, because I, <laughs> I haven't seen my previous doctor in quite a while now, and I definitely need to run my numbers again <coughs> according to the last numbers that he ran. Everything was pretty much in order. I, did, I didn't have any, like, high numbers or, you know, any any numbers that I should really worry about. So, that was good. But, I, you know, you got to stay on top of that kind of stuff. <clears throat> uh, one freaking gnat came in the door. And it's just hanging out. I'm like, damn it. They had one gnat that came in the last time for uh, Sonic. Get off. Get off. Just one. So the hell they're still flying around out there because it's and it's like 60 something degrees right now what is it I'm curious what is it 61 it's like how are gnats living out there at 61 degrees anyway i have my gnat zapper in my bathroom <laughs> it'll get it he'll get it eventually oh uh, Oh, well, it's going to have a good time in there because I got all that fruit. I've got two different kinds of pears that are still ripening. I haven't gotten to have one pear yet. <laughs> Not one. Um, and my three three remaining mangoes are ripe and pretty much ready to go. Both of my, uh, my two kiwis are ripe. And my avocado is super ripe. So, I'm like, dang it. And I just had to go and buy Jack in a Box. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure some. I'm sure it'll last till tomorrow. Ouch! Jeez! Oh! I went to scratch this little. I've got a little roll right here, and I went to scratch it, and I could feel. You could feel the skin just rip and tear. I'm like, it's. 
Ugh, that happens sometimes when you get really, really, really fat. <laughs> the skin gets thin in the creases and yeah, yeah it's ouchy. <laughs> <clears throat> Not to mention irritated and all that stuff that people like to point out. So I'm like, you know what? <laughs> when it's a little irritated and stuff, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a top on so y'all don't have to see nothing. It's not even that bad right now. It's not even that bad. It's not even red really. At least I can't see it's red. Uh, but sometimes that gets this area just right here gets really irritated. <clears throat> yeah, fun, fun, fun. But anyway, I'm going to call it now, and I will see y'all for New Year's. <laughs> I don't know. I think the video will go up for New Year's Eve. You know, I should be eating it on New Year's Day, right? But we're just going to pretend. <laughs> so, um, the cabbage is like money, and the, what, what is that? You know what? I'm going to Google it, because I think it's interesting. It's like a, um, one of those folky things new year's meal tradition okay what is that about they eat what new year's food traditions around the world mm. Mm. traditional southern new year's day dinner it's lucky food <clears throat> greens pork cornbread Black eyed peas, cow peas. So I should be eating pork and not brisket because the brisket's beef. But I like corned beef brisket. Okay, greens resemble money. Specifically folding money. So that's my cabbage. Peas and beans symbolize coins or wealth. Uh, traditional is black eyed peas, lentils, beans. So I've got the black eyed peas. And pork is considered a sign of prosperity in some cultures. Oh, well, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll get pork. Maybe I'll get... I like the corned beef with the cabbage. Hmm. Okay. Womp womp. Hmm. <laughs> kind of things do they suggest? <sighs> I don't know if I want to put pork in my crock pot, though. You know what? I wonder if sausage... Pork, a good pork sausage, you know. Um, I wonder if I could put the some some smoked sausage in the black eyed peas if that would count as pork. Guess it would. Still pig. Let's see. What did it say that the pig stood for? Pork is considered a sign of prosperity in some cultures because pigs root forward. This is probably the reason many Southern New Year's Day dishes contain pork or ham. Oh, ham. Hmm, okay. Well, anyway, I'm cooking dinner for New Year's, and I'm going to share that with you guys. It shouldn't be too hard. I'll just put stuff together in the crock pot and let that go, and then cook my black eyed peas on the stove. It should be pretty easy. <sighs> But yeah, I'm going into 2023, guns blazing. Um, I may even actually make a resolution or two this year. Because I haven't in the previous years. But I'm going to get my vision board all set up. Things that I want to accomplish and do. <clears throat> yeah, but definitely, definitely prosperity is a big thing. Because, um, you know, I do pretty good. I do pretty good financially. You know, people are like, <laughs> people still think I'm like, you know, living off the government. <clears throat> like, nope, not me. <laughs> not me. I did a long time ago. I did. And there's nothing wrong with it if you have to. But um, it was definitely, it was definitely, what do you call it? Um, um, uplifting for me uh, to be able to take care of myself financially, you know. I'm very happy that I've found my niche. I found my niche. Uh, and yeah, well, I, I'm not truly happy with what I'm doing for a living. <laughs> eh, it's easy. It's fun. It's, it's easy money. 
for me anyway. Oh, and thank you guys so much for going over to Rain's channel. Uh, they're getting monetized, you know, because of you guys. Thank you so much. Um, I'm, they've got a lot of great content coming, um, and they're very excited to, you know, share their cooking with you guys. <laughs> uh, the last few, the last videos that they put up have been really fun, and I'm really, really happy for them. Um, and thank y'all. <laughs> Uh, and y'all go see Benchy Becca too. I mean, I don't know if she's uh, trying to get monetized, but it helps. It certainly helps. You want to continue for sure. If you can make a few dollars, you know, even even in the beginning, a few dollars helps motivate you to keep going. Um, but I love you guys very much. Thank you for spending time with me today. And I will see you next time. Mm, bye now. Mm-hmm. <laughs>